Hi, do you fear that you have what James calls dead faith? James says, faith without works is dead. He says it three times in James 2, 17, James 2, 20, James 2, 26. If you fear that you have dead faith, do you somehow fear that you will not make it into Christ's kingdom, that you will not go to heaven when you die? Well, hi, I'm Bob Wilkin, and I have some good news for you today, because the typical understanding of dead faith in James 2 is dead wrong, and it doesn't need to cause you to doubt your salvation. James 2, 14 through 17 is a very famous passage, and in the passage it starts with three words in Greek, ti, ta, aphelos. It's variously translated as what good is it, what use is it, or what does it profit? And the same expression, tita aphelos, ends verse 16 as the book ends. And at the end of verse 16, we get what good is it, what use is it, what does it profit? And so what James is saying in 14 through 16 is that faith without works is unprofitable. It's useless. It's good for nothing. And so we need to put our faith into practice. That is, we need to apply our faith. Listen to what uh, James says here. What, pro what does it profit my brethren? Notice he's speaking to believers in Christ, my brethren. If someone says he has faith but does not have works, can faith save him? And the Greek expects a negative answer. Faith cannot save him, can it? Well, the word save in James is used five times, the verb sozo, and each time it refer, refers to salvation in this life, to a physical salvation from the discipline of God, except James 5.15, which refers to salvation from illness, which could be caused by the discipline of God. And so what James is saying is there is no profit if a person believes something, they profess their faith, but they don't have works consistent with what they believe. The issue here is not saving faith. The issue here is believing anything that God says. James is saying that faith unapplied is unprofitable. And notice the illustration he gives. If a brother or sister, this is a fellow believer in our local church, is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you, one of the brethren, says to them, you say the right thing, depart in peace, be warmed and filled. That's not a bad thing to say. Hey, I'm praying for you, be warmed, be filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, tita phalos. What does it profit? You see, what does it profit applies both to the believer who has the ability to help the believer in need and to the believer in need. If the believer who has the means to help the other believer does not help, then he's not going to be profited, but he's going to be judged by God. And the believer who has insufficient clothing and food is not going to be helped. He's not going to be profited. And that's where James 2.17 comes in. James 2.17 is now summarizing what he just said. Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Dead doesn't mean non-existent. Dead means that it's unprofitable, unproductive, that it's not good, that it's good for nothing. So that let's say I believe that it's better to give than receive. And I say some good things to a person in need, but I don't actually give them what's needed. Well, then my belief that it's better to give than receive is unprofitable to me and to the brother or sister in need. If I believe I should love my wife as Christ loved the church, and I believe that's a good thing, and I even teach people that's a good thing, I say it. But then I don't love my wife as Christ loves the church, well, then that's unprofitable and unproductive for me. Anything we believe that we do not apply is unprofitable and unproductive. In philosophy, they say A cannot be non-A. So the idea is 
You can't say an apple is not an apple. You can't say faith is not faith. So when James says faith without works is dead, he's not saying faith without works isn't faith. He's saying faith without works is unprofitable. It's unproductive. So do you have dead faith? If you do, get to work. Don't just talk about what you believe, but apply what you believe. Pray about it. Ask God to strengthen you and to empower you to do what He calls you to do, and God will answer that sort of prayer. But don't doubt your salvation, because the way to get away from dead faith is to apply what you believe, not to doubt your salvation. If you liked what you saw, what you heard today in this uh, short video, be sure to click the, the red subscribe button at the bottom of the page. And be sure to tell your friends about this because we want everyone to know that Everlasting Life is a free gift received by faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. And it has nothing to do with our works or our perseverance in good works.